Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the preparations that I do before I go on to a modelling shoot. So today I've got a shoot with Jenna, uh, one of my models that we used before, and we're doing it in a nightclub which has five different floors on it. And we're going to try and do a, different couple, a couple of different shots in each part, so it's going to be a lot of photos from today. So I'm just going to show you how I'm preparing for it. The first thing you've got to do is always make sure all your batteries are ready and charged. So for example, just now, my Fuji battery is still charging, and so are my double A's for my, for my flashes. But I'll get them all into the room so you can see them all together. Okay, so that's me pretty much got everything that I'm going to be using for the shoot today. Some things which I might not use, like the tripod. So I might not bother bringing that. But effectively what we've got here is camera one, my Fuji. Camera two, my Nikon. Extra battery pack for the Nikon. SB900, SB900, SB800. Color filter gels. And the diffusion domes for the flashes. Battery stands for the flashes, which also attach them to the light stands at the top there. I've also got the Roscoe colour filters which are great for doing lots of interesting colours in your flash photography. I've also got my Nikon 50mm f1.4, extra battery packs, cleaning cloths, brush and umbrellas there. Whew, okay now what I've got to do is I've got to pack that all into my bag. What I'll do is I'll put all the batteries into the flashes but I'll keep the diffusion domes off because they just take up too much space. So a good tip just before you pack your bag is to make sure all your camera and flash settings are the way you want them to be whenever you just start the photo shoot. So you want to bring your ISO as down as low as possible. If it's an important shoot I will be shooting in RAW and in JPEG but in the JPEG I'll have it in medium size and medium quality. Also make sure the back of the flashes they're all set to the right mode that you're wanting to use whether you're using them in manual, whether you're using them in TTL or if you are using them in SU4 mode. So uh, just make sure you've got all that sorted before you start packing it all into the bag with all the batteries in as well. And then one last thing before you pack the bag is to give the front of your lenses a quick dusting with your brush and if there's anything more difficult stuck on it then use a lens cloth, lens cloth, uh, and that will help. Uh, save you a lot of time once you get there. If you get there, you say, oh man, there's a dust spot and you have to get your stuff out. It's just a pain in the ass and people are waiting around. So best do it before you even pack your bag. Okay, first things first is get the flashes in. They're the most important. So, one down. Sorted. Next is the cameras. So with my D300 with the extra battery pack, that will go in the top. Leave the straps out for the time being. Make sure it's in securely. Then second camera, the Fuji. Place her in as well. Then it's pretty much just the extra stuff. So first one. Next one is the lens. 50 mil, and then let's make sure it's in nice and tight. Okay, that shouldn't be moving around. With the stuff like this, I'll put this in one of the extra compartments. Okay, so that's the cam that's the bag filled with two cameras, three lenses, three flashes, and extra stuff, and that's it in nice and easy. So let's get the straps in, put them in between the two cameras. Hold up. So now the last thing is to do with the light stands and the umbrellas. I don't think I'll bother bringing my tripod because I'll be all using it with my hand held photography rather than tripod stuff. So now I've got to stick light stands on the bag as well. Okay so with this bag what it has is a compartment which you can pull down like that. And with that I'm then going to stick in the light stands. What to do is you want to stick them in so that the pointy bit is at the bottom. And what to do with the light stands is to take off the attachments on the top. So you just have the pointy bit going into the bottom of the bag. And then you can definitely get two light stands in, no problem. Okay, and there you can see, there's my rucksack. Two light stands, ready to go. And then with the bag like that, I can just hold my two umbrellas 
in my hand while I'm walking along. And if you want to be really brave, you could probably also try and shove in your umbrellas into that front compartment as well by just slipping it in there and then tying it all on again. My whole studio on a rather small camera bag. Look, all nicely done. Heavy as hell, it's probably about 20 kilograms there. And that's been ready to go for my shoot. Hope that helps you with your packing. Cheers, bye.